What's up everybody? My name is iCamera9. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And it looks like somebody's gonna be in trouble because apparently the release date for the PlayStation 4 version of Tomb Raider has been leaked. But guys, before we get straight into the video, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, click that like button right below and don't forget to join the Saiyan Army by clicking the subscribe button. So down below, there's going to be a link to the NeoGAF thread, basically where I'm getting all this information. Apparently, October 11th, 2016 is when Tomb Raider is coming out to the PlayStation 4, and they're going to be charging the full original retail price. Now, I'm not all surprised about this release date, and it's actually a good time to release a game like this. October, in general, if you don't want to get your game flooded by the rest of the first-person and AAA market gameplay shooters that are coming out usually in the holiday season, put your game in the third quarter, where October is a prime spot for that. Unfortunately, when this game originally came out on the PC and Xbox One, it was flooded to the market, pretty much covered by Battlefield, Halo... Uh, Call of Duty, just you name it. Every All the big games, they destroyed Tomb Raider. And unfortunately, it's such a good game was kind of pushed to the shadows and not many people played it. Now, I know a lot of people are fans of the Tomb Raider series, especially on the PlayStation cycle, because mainly Tomb Raider is, was actually associated with PS4 and PlayStation in general, but it seems like ever since they switched over to the Xbox and pretty much destroyed our ties with them, a lot of fans aren't looking forward to be playing this game. Although it is good, it's just in general, like, you know how gamers are. We are very, very sensitive. And if you leave us or you hurt us, we're gonna p make you pay by not paying for your game and hurting your wallets at the end of the day. And a lot of people are pissed because they're still releasing the game at full price and a lot of people saying that a game for being one year old, either, even though it is coming to the PlayStation 4 for its first time this October, that they are not willing to pay this game full price, which is sad to see, you know. I personally believe that this deal with Xbox and Microsoft in general was the wrong choice. First of all, maybe they helped funded the game. That's great, the game looks great, the gameplay is fantastic. But really, at the end of it, was it worth it? Maybe they did make money with the deal from Microsoft, but they didn't get any money from their fans. A lot of the people who bought it on the Xbox One is a very, very small majority of their fan base in general. And of course, it, I don't even think it hit the top 10 numbers on its second week of being released. Like, or maybe its second month. It was just buried, buried underneath so many other games. And I personally, I will be picking it up, but there's no reason for me to be picking up for full price because I'm going to be playing the Modern Warfare Remaster in October. But guys, let me know what you think. Down below in the comment section down below, are you going to be picking up Rise of the Tomb Raider on your PlayStation 4 console this October 11th? Or are you going to wait a couple of weeks or even a month until the, the price drops down because it's just not justifying paying a full retail price for this game? Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click the like button and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Peace everyone and hopefully you enjoyed.